a tremendous impact that the cosmos have had uh, in the past as it relates to the triangle. Uh, the Capillary Soccer League, in part, was founded due to the growth of the sport in the country in the 70s. And certainly the North American Soccer League, and specifically the Cosmos of that time, Pelé, Beckenbauer, all those great players were a big reason for that. So um, the launch uh, of the new Cosmos, the fact that we're hosting them here on Saturday, uh, the success that they had in their home opener, the media coverage, is, is fantastic for the Railhawks now, but there's a, a lasting legacy of the, co the first version of the Cosmos here in the Triangle, and that's folks like myself who are in their mid-40s, began playing the game in the Capillary Soccer League in the 70s. Yeah, it's really exciting to have the Cosmos in, uh, in the NASL, have them coming to Wake Med Soccer Park. You know, for me personally, uh, growing up as a kid, uh, the Cosmos were, uh, were my team growing up as a kid. I remember all those great players that came through the Cosmos, uh, Pele, uh, Beckenbauer, uh, Birkenmeyer, Johan Naiskins, Bogi Bogicevic. Uh, big time, you know, it's, uh, I think people look now, MLS has come a long way, and you've got the Galaxy and teams like that, but if you ask anybody anywhere in the world, American soccer, it's the Cosmos, and uh, you know, like I said, Pelly, back and all those great players that come together, and they were the ones that probably set the, the standard in, in this country. Yeah, I mean, I'm unbelievably excited because I grew up watching the Cosmos, you know, playing the Washington Diplomats, I'm from Washington, D.C. The history is unbelievable, the players that they brought into the country, into the league to help establish soccer in general in the United States, guys like Pele, Carlos Alberto, Franz Beckenbauer. Um, you know, those names are synonymous with, with greatness throughout soccer history, not just in the U.S., but throughout the world. So as an organization, they've done an incredible job to help build soccer and kind of start the platform here in this country. So to have them back is something really special. I'm not sure everybody actually comprehends it, um, but it, it's, it's really important for the league, too, you know, to have a name like the Cosmos back in the NASL, um, you know, establishing with the Tampa Bay Rallies, Fort Lauderdale Strikers, and then obviously moving forward with teams like the Red Hawks and everything else. So it's going to be exciting. Um, they haven't had a loss yet, so hopefully we can be the first team to introduce them to that. But I think everybody's really excited to get after it. Big game. You know, two teams that are unbeaten, uh, two teams that I believe will be there, thereabouts at the end of the, the fall season. So uh, three points are going to be vital for us. It's a great spring season at home, and we need to continue that. And to do that, we need our help of our fans to come out and support us. So... Yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a must for any soccer fan this weekend to get out and watch two very good teams. They're going to play, pass the ball, bring your kids out. You're going to learn. You're going to you see a great game. And, and uh, fingers crossed, hopefully, three points for the Real Hawks. It's our opportunity to showcase ourselves again to a new market, in essence. Uh, the New York City marketplace, uh, I, I want us to put our best foot forward. Wear, wear your orange, the passion, the tailgating getting out here early and creating that atmosphere that uh, we're becoming known for.